We are out in the Chesapeake Bay taking a little trip. This is going to be an overnight trip for us. <laughs> coasting along in the Chesapeake Bay headed for Whitehall Bay to spend a night out on the boat. Not a big trip, relatively close to Annapolis, but should be a fun trip nonetheless. We're getting ready to go through the channel into Whitehall Bay here in a second and then we'll be throwing the anchor out and uh, settling in for the night. We are under sail, wind behind us at about five knots. We're still moving about two, two and a half knots forward, just kind of drifting along. I just have the Genoa up up front. I put the mainsail down just because it was uh, stealing some wind out of the Genoa. And we're still moving along pretty good. We got one other boat in front of us that has both uh, the mainsail and, the, and their jib out wing on wing. So that's another way that we could have gone with this. But what we have out now is gonna be plenty to get us through there. And the anchorage here is usually a pretty calm during the week. It's a Monday right now. Weekends it gets pretty packed here. But right now I think I can only see one other boat in the anchorage. And there's one boat coming in here, but I think they could live back here on one of the creeks or something. So uh, it looks like we got plenty of space to anchor out there. We have the anchor set. We are sitting in Whitehall Bay. So Whitehall Bay just outside of Annapolis. The Bay Bridge is right over in that direction over there somewhere. So this is a, a good anchorage if you are coming up and down the bay and you need a place to stop. It's fairly decent. The one disadvantage to this to Whitehall Bay is it's kind of open to uh, the winds to the south, which actually we have right now is winds to the south but we're able to tuck ourselves close enough into the land here that I don't think it's going to be a problem but you can see if I turn around and off in that direction is probably about due south the winds are coming however from this direction here so we're not too bad I don't think for tonight it's not supposed to get too bad so uh, this is our anchorage Okay, 
right, we're all settled into our anchor here and getting some dinner ready. I've got right in the back there that grill. That takes those, the little green propane bottles. I'm grilling up some uh, mushrooms on there right now. And Lynn is down in the galley cooking up some squash and bruschetta and maybe something else. We've got another boat that's anchoring behind us right now. And I think it's probably about, probably close to, is it close to 6 o'clock? 5.45. 5.45. So we've got another sailboat coming to anchor behind us currently. Other than that, there's no one else here. There was a boat when we came in, a power boat, but it left. And uh, it left like right before we got anchored. We got dinner on its way. And back there in the grill. And dinner is ready. Let's eat. It's close to eight o'clock in the morning. And it was a windy night last night. I think the wind was 20 knots plus, I believe. And uh, it was howling loud, so difficult to sleep. Not necessarily because of the pitching and everything, but just because it's a little unnerving trying to sleep when the wind is that high and the boat's swinging around. So. Uh, but it did eventually calm down, I think, sometime after around 2 o'clock. And this morning is beautiful. There's like not a cloud in the sky, and it's uh, still a little windy, probably closer to 10 knots or so. And we're going to have some coffee and breakfast here shortly. And from there, get packed up and head out, start heading back to the marina. I'm supposed to get some uh, thunderstorms or a chance of thunderstorms this evening but not till later like between two and five o'clock this afternoon or this evening so we'll be well in by then uh, it's it'll only take us an hour or so to get back <laughs> solar panel that I installed is doing very well. You can see it's right here behind me. I have it propped up and 
Right now I just have it tied off to the bimini. But this morning it's been getting a lot of direct sunlight and it's doing at least 70 plus uh, watts right now. So it's keeping the battery charged faster than the refrigerator is using the power. So that's uh, pretty good, I think. All right, it's time to pull the anchor out. So I'm gonna go up here and take the anchor out. Okay, anchor is out and we are underway. Uh, I had a hard time getting the anchor out because like I said last night, we had about 20 plus knots of wind all night. So it was stuck in there pretty good. And uh, my windlass wasn't working. I think it has to do with the battery just, just don't have enough amps right now to, uh, to turn the motor over. Because I could get it to go just for a little bit, then it would stop. So um, that's something else I have to look at in the future. But it's relatively easy to pull out especially with that Danforth uh, Fortress anchor and uh, the nylon road. So a chain's a little harder to pull out, but it's possible, I've done it before, so. Uh, but now we're underway and we're gonna uh, get out of Whitehall Bay here and start sailing back toward Annapolis. Okay, so we just made a long uh, run from Whitehall Bay and now we're coming up the Severn River. So our uh, wind, we were doing about 18 knots consistent, close hauled. So we were we were flying, we were doing like at least five and a half, six knots. 
which is pretty fast for us. And uh, now we've turned now to more of a, a beam reach, broad reach, and we're heading up the Severn River. We got the schooner Woodwind is flying over there to our right. And we still we still have about 12, uh, 12, 13 knots of apparent wind, so plus about four and a half, five knots of speed. That thing always cuts so close to the. Is that the woodwind? Oh, that's a different one. No, that's woodwind. It always cuts so close to the they know that what marker. They're doing. It's like holy smokes, moving something that big. Not only that, they've got crab pots all over the yeah, place. Yeah, crab pots all over the place out there. But they know what they're doing. Yeah. I mean, that's what they do. And we are pulling into Annapolis. We've got the Harbor Queen behind us over my shoulder, doing tours of the Severn River and the bay. And wind has died down a little bit. We're still at about nine knots apparent, but we're still doing about three knots. So we're getting ready to fire up the engine here and head back into the marina. Okay, we are back at the marina and had a good sail coming in. Nice 18 knot winds coming uh, close hauled down from Whitehall Bay up to the Severn River. Then in the Severn River, we had uh, from the, kind of from the back of us a little bit. Uh, and we still, it was still up there in about 12 knots or so. So we were able to get back pretty quick. Got into the slip no problem and had lunch buttoned the boat up and we are ready to go home and we'll try to do the, another overnight trip sometime soon hopefully but the weather right now is kind of uh it's been crazy because it's already july so in in the chesapeake bay july a lot of thunderstorms and stuff like that happens like today there's supposed to be a thunderstorm later this afternoon like two to five o'clock supposed to have be you know severe storm risk that sort of thing but uh that's kind of what july will be like and then by the time august comes around It'll be about time to go back to work, so so we'll see uh, get as many of these overnights in as we can. So thanks everybody who has subscribed to the channel, and thanks for watching. I know uh, my subscribers have gone up, which is good. And uh, make sure that you like the videos if you if you like them. Even if you don't, you might as well like it. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. See you later. Thanks.